Praise the Lord. Community Baptist Church, praise the Lord. It's another wonderful day here, as Auntie would say, in the neighborhood. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. We give God praise. We give God honor. We thank him for another opportunity to come into his house and worship and praise and uplift his name. We hope that everybody is well. We hope that everybody is good. We hope that everybody is still excited and still, as they say, holding on. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Let's get wherever you are right now. Just wave your hands in the atmosphere of your homes. Give God a hand clap of praise in the atmosphere where you are. Somebody say hallelujah. And if you work with your family, somebody say thank you, Jesus. Somebody say happy Mother's Day. If you work with your mother or your auntie or your grandma, happy for your sisters. God, you're good. And we welcome you into this atmosphere. We welcome you into our hearts. We welcome you into this worship service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow your will to be done, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I love the Lord. He heard.
call, hallelujah. We pray that you are still enjoying the worship. We pray that you are still inviting the Lord in. We pray that our pastor brings forth a great word that pierces our hearts and our minds and our souls and allows someone to say, what must I do to be saved? Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Graham. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, Miss Nadine. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, John. Thank you for the loyalty and dedication that you have every Sunday. Hallelujah. So come to God's house. I want to do a little bit of Hezekiah Walker grateful.
flowing from my heart are the issues of my heart. How many of y'all are grateful this morning? If you're grateful at home, I want you to put your hands together and give God some praise. If you're grateful in the building, I want you to put your hands together and give God some praise. If you're outside these doors, I want you to put your hands together and give God some praise today. If you're grateful, 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 if you're grateful. Sometimes in being grateful and showing gratitude, you got to show some sign. It's not just about sitting back and thinking about how good God is, but actually letting God know how much you appreciate Him yes, and His awesomeness. Sometimes you have to shed a tear. Sometimes you have to just bow down. Sometimes you just got to clap your hands. Sometimes you just got to say, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just for being so good. Thank you just for being God all by yourself. Every now and then, God just want to hear you say thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. For being God all by yourself. Come on, let's go to the throne of grace. Our Father and our God is once again, oh Lord, we have come into this place of worship. We have come, oh God, into your sanctuary, into your house of prayer. God, we come simply to lift you up and give you praise and give you honor and give you thanks. We thank you, oh God, for the movement of the Holy Spirit in this place. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. You're welcome to have your way in everything that we do and everything that we say. Holy Spirit, you take full control of this worship experience. God, we thank you for yet another day's journey that we are so glad. We thank you, oh God, for a mother's day service. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for mothers who look to you, the author and finisher of our faith. Who look to you for strength. Who look to you for guidance. Who look to you for a good, a good example. We thank you, O oh God, for mothers who are saved. And we are praying, O oh God, for those who are not saved, God, to get right with you and, and do it now. So that they might raise godly children. God, we thank you today. We thank you, O oh God, for the candles that have been lit in remembrance of those mothers who have gone home to be with you. We know that everything's all right with them, O oh God, because in your presence there is fullness of joy. And in your right hand, pleasures forevermore. So we thank you, O oh God, for those mothers and those grandmothers and those great grandmothers and those great great grandmothers who have gone home to be with you. We light these candles today, oh God, to let them know, let the families know that they may be gone, but they are never forgotten. Their light still shines within us. God, we are, we, 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 we are their seed. And if it had not been for these mothers, where would we be today, oh God? So God, we bless their names today. We honor them today with light and not darkness. With love and not anger. With peace and not pressure. With praise. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. And not please. We thank you today, oh for their love and their legacy. We thank you, O oh God, for their hugs and their kisses. We thank you, O oh God, for how you provided us with a remembrance of them. In the name of Jesus. 
And God, we pray. We pray for our foreign mission. We pray for Pomosa International. Our friend and our brother and over in, and our sister and over in Maui. Maui. We pray, oh God, for Sister Tamara Wright. We pray, oh God, that you would continue to strengthen them. They're going through a trying time, oh God, over in Africa. But God, we know that you reach far and wide. And we know, oh God, there's nothing too hard for you. We pray, oh God, that you would develop for those persons over there that their immune systems would be developed. We pray, oh God, that they would adhere to the instructions that are given them. We pray, oh God, for the community nurse who was recently hired that she will not be overwhelmed. We pray, oh God, that they'll be able to obtain the supplies that are so desperately needed there in a foreign land. We lift them up today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Knowing, oh God, that you do all things and you do them well. But we pray for right now the brother Nikis and his family. Oh God, the thing is claim another type of a child. For you said in your word, oh God, the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And so we pray for his family, oh God. We, we pray for this city, oh God. We pray for our children, oh God. In the name of Jesus. We pray that their parents would be willing to stand in the gap. In the name of Jesus. To look to you, oh God, for help. For it is when we are weak, that is when we are made strong in and through you. And so we pray for them today. God, we pray for those who would commit such a crime. We, we ask, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you would print their hearts and, and not let them rest, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Pray that no one would have to go and seek them out, but because God, you have instructed them that they might turn, them, turn themselves over to the proper authorities. We pray, oh God, that you would save them that you would change their hearts. The shooters, oh God, young as they are, we pray, oh God, that you would touch them right now, that you would remove the weapons of war from their hands and replace it, and replace it with the word of truth. Encourage them, oh God, to do that which is right so that they might live we pray, oh God, that we would start speaking life into the lives of our young men and women and not death. Life that will allow them to live more abundantly. God, we thank you this day for those parents, those moms who have lost their children to violence, oh God. We pray right now that you would gird them up on every side. That you would strengthen them, that they might be a mouthpiece for you within this community. To tell somebody that we, have, that we don't have to study war anymore. But that we can come together. That we can reason together. And that we can love one another. Love one another beyond measure. God, we thank you today. We thank you today. We pray for Deacon Bates and Trustee Bates. We, we pray for Mom Benzina. We pray for Jesse Johnson. We pray for Ms. Cora. We pray for them, oh God. We pray for Big Mike. God, we pray for them. We pray for them. We pray for the spell of me. We pray for them, oh God. We pray for this ministerial staff. We, we pray for them, oh God. God, we pray for them. We pray.
pray for Sister Wink, oh God. We pray that you might heal them. And God, a special prayer for my own mother in love. I pray, oh God, that you would send healing her way. Going through a little something, something this morning. But God, I know that you're able. <laughs> Just lower the hem of your garment so that she might be able to reach up and touch it and be made whole in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, for our city. I pray, oh God, for our officials. I pray, oh God, that you would just give us the wisdom and understanding to do that which is right and pleasing in your sight. I pray, oh God, for your men and women who stand behind this sacred desk, that you would equip them with a word that will encourage and inspire men and women boys and girls to draw nearer to you. I pray, oh God, for your loving kindness and your wisdom and understanding to fall afresh upon me right now in the name of Jesus. This prayer is your servant's prayer. We give you thanks we give you honor. And we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty and master's name, we say, Amen. 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 Come on, give God a praise. Clap if you love him, 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 this morning. Amen. Praise God. We're grateful today. We're grateful. We're grateful today. Happy Mother's Day, mothers. Happy Mother's Day, mothers. Well, we don't have a parade, but we can still say Happy Mother's Day. You can still stop by, you can still call, you can still FaceTime, Facebook, Snapchat, whatever that stuff is. Y'all know what you can do, but make sure you reach out to your mother. Make sure you touch base with your mom. Amen? Amen. 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 You've got your mom and your mom is living you by the make sure. Look at your neighbor. If you're in the house with somebody, look at your neighbor and say, you better make sure you touch base with mom. Amen. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. We are very grateful grateful. You mean so much to so many. And we are grateful for your loving kindness and your presence. Once again, we want to say to the Pomoza International, our foreign mission partners, amen. We are grateful because members of the Community Baptist Church, Sister Pamela Hayes and our very own Reverend Sherrod Graham traveled to and fro over in Africa. And they work along with our foreign mission and she has put a plea out to a Community Baptist Church to pray, send up prayers. This pandemic has no boundaries. No boundaries. And we have all the technology in the world whereby they have none in countries like them had none. But the power of prayer, yes. woo! <laughs> the power of prayer can overtake any or is stronger than any technology, any other medicine. Because when you pray and you do it in Jesus' name, the Bible says that Whatever you ask for in his name, he's faithful and he's just to do it for you. So, Sister Wright, we are praying that the Lord will make a way out of no way. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do 
I know he will. I know he will. I know he will. Just want to make sure, sister, brother, brother Leopard, Eddie Bell, Deacon Bell, Deacon Kennedy, Reverend Chen, Minister Ethel McCready Johnson's family. Brother Antoine, we're praying. We're praying. Mount Coleman, we're, we're praying for you. Sister Jean, we're praying for you. We're praying for you, Pastor. We'll be stopped. Sister Pat, Miss Pat, Miss Pat, we're praying. We're praying for you. Because we earnestly believe that prayer changes things. The Fleming family, we're praying for you. Sister Shannon and Charlie Christian, we're, we're praying. We're praying for you. Sister Kathy Meisel, we're, we're praying. Prayer changes things. We're praying that God will make a way out of no way. We're praying that God will heal. We're praying that God will deliver. We're praying that God will bind the enemy in your life. We're praying to the family of young Nikes. We're praying the enemy is raising his ugly head in the community and folks are wondering out loud and on Facebook what this person is going to do, what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray and I'm going to continue to stand in the gap and pray that God will move in this city in a mighty and miraculous way. And I want to say something. I want to say something to some parents. I'm hoping these parents are watching and listening today. The evil one, the evil one, watch this, he's producing films, these videos of different so-called gangs throughout the city. 8th Street, 8th Ball they call them, the Ben, William Penn, Sun Hill, Sun, Sun Hill, Maddie Block, hmm. Third Street, the Gardens. All of these so called gangs. I want you to see something. I want you to hear me and hear me good on this Mother's Day. Their videos being shown where all of these older guys are encouraging these young kids, boys. Inspiring these young boys to follow them and worship them. And they're talking about warring against one another. Folk in the project. I used to live in the project. Folk in the project don't own the property but talking about my neighborhood. Fighting over dumb stuff. He said, she said. I want you to start looking at these videos. Go online. Pull them up. I had an opportunity to look at some of these videos and some of the young people I knew these are your children being encouraged by 32 year old men 33 year old men and 35 year old men who are encouraging your children to do the wrong things encouraging your children Take the life of another child. Look at it. I want you to look at those videos and see if your child is in those videos and see if your adult, grown 
grown man is in those videos. And then when you find out and you see who these adults are that are encouraging our young people to do demonic things to other young people, start calling them out. Start calling them out. They're speaking death to our young people. And it comes a time when one has to say enough is enough. We got young mothers that got to suffer through Mother's Day because <laughs> demonic persons have encouraged others to take the life of their little boys. Wow. Satan is a liar and a deceiver too. And I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. And cast him and all of his imps, all of his little demons back into that pit of hell. And I pray that God will release peace and love and joy and inspire our young people to grow to be that person, that individual, whom God would have them to be. In the name of Jesus. Look at those videos. Look at those videos. I challenge you. Look at those videos. Then tell me who's it for. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Then when you go back on Facebook, <laughs> then when you go back on Facebook, then when you go back to social media, have a conversation about who the real culprit is when it comes to those who are destroying our folk. I can take criticism. Hmm. I can take finger pointing. I can also take the truth of a matter. Look at those videos. Tonight. Pull them up. I gave you the names. Pull them up. Then go to Facebook. I dare you. Then go to Facebook and call them out. In the name of Jesus, I declare the covering of God over the city. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of hatred and death. In the name of Jesus. Mm. I feel better already. Mm. I feel better already because you got to unload sometime. Yes. I got that Popeye spirit. That's all I can stand. <laughs> I can't stand no more, Reverend Graham. I can't stand no more, bitch. I can't stand no more. Come on. Let's see who the real warriors are. To see who the real folks who will stand for truth and justice. Let's see who the real folks are. And let's see who the fake folks are that'll get back on Facebook, point the finger at somebody else. I ain't in one of those videos. No member of council is in one of those videos. Nobody from Community Baptist Church. Is in one of them video. And I ain't scared to stand on the word of God and punch out. Yes, sir. Yes. You stop this mess. Stop it. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus name. Come on, give God some praise. I just, I just had to get that off. Good all under that. Amen. 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 I feel so good. Let me tell you about 
our online giving. <laughs> Amen. Once again, we want to thank you all, all our members and supporters who continue to be a blessing to this ministry. I appreciate you, Community Baptist Church, as you continue to give. And some of y'all know who you are. We need your financial blessing as well. Amen? Amen. So that we might continue in the ministry, that so that we might continue to be able to come to this place of worship. So that we might be an outreach, a resource for our community. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we thank God we don't depend on nothing but tithes and offerings. We say it again. We don't depend on anything but tithes and offerings because we know that with, through tithes and offerings we can help somebody. Amen. So we're grateful. Just as a reminder, you can continue to give by, by giving us yeah. giving by using Cash App. The cash tag is the dollar sign, the words give to CBC. Once again, the dollar sign G I V E T O C B C. Also, you may now give using our PayPal. Just go to our website, www.cbcchester.org forward slash give. That's www.cbcchester.org forward slash give. And both these options will be made available to you. And CBC now has a YouTube channel. Clap it up. Clap it up. We have a YouTube channel, and all the services since the quarantine, the very beginning, are now available. So you can go back and get the other services. If you missed them, you can go on back and, and get uh, uh, worded on up. Amen? Take that opportunity. We have a YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. The link is on our website. Once again, www.cbcchester.org. Say it again. www.cbcchester.org. Make sure you go to our YouTube channel. We like the Jeffersons. We're moving on up. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. And don't forget our Bible study with our very own Reverend Gerard Graham on Wednesday nights. Amen. Come on, tune in. Join us this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Let us know in the comments if you would like to join, and we will post a link to join for you to join. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Study to show yourself approved. A word we need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Amen. Once again, we pray for our first responders, our firefighters, our EMTs, and our police officers, we pray, we pray for you, that God will continue to keep you in his care. Amen. Let's go to the anointing. God, please, anoint my mind so that I might be in perfect peace. Anoint my tongue so that the words of my mouth will be acceptable unto you. Anoint my heart so that it might be clean. Anoint my hands so that I might serve you. And anoint my feet so that my footsteps will always be ordered by you, the anointing. Come on, give God some praise. Give God some praise. Give God some praise. We are excited today. I know I am. I want you to set up a special prayer. I was up a little last night. My Mother-in-law took a slight tumble. But God is good. 
No, I'm sorry. Chicken is good. God is awesome. <laughs> yes, sir. She's all right. She's all right. Amen. She's all right. Nothing's broken. Not the little bruise, but nothing's broken. And her appetite is still good. <laughs> She's going to be all right. She's going to be all right. Thank God for Mama. And I want to send out a shout, a special shout to her. Love your Mama. Love your mama, love your mama, love your mama. Send out a special shout to all my daughters, their, their mamas. Happy Mother's Day. To my wife, happy Mother's Day, First Lady. Gotta get my family in there. I got everybody else in there. Gotta get my family in there. I gotta go back and live with them. To my sister, happy Mother's Day. To my sisters in love, happy Mother's Day. To all my nieces. Happy Mother's Day. My cousins, happy mother, female cousins, happy Mother's Day. Wanna get them in there. To everybody throughout this city and community Baptist Church. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Miss Nadine. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. Come on, go with me. As we share with you the word of God this morning. To the book of John. Mm. Speaking of Mother's Day. The book of John, the 19th chapter, 26th verse, the 26th and 27th verse. Book of John, 19th chapter, beginning at the 26th verse. And it reads in, in this manner. When Jesus then saw his mother and his, the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. From that hour, the disciple took her into his own house. Hope. I want to preach for a few moments under the anointing of the Holy Spirit on the thought. I always love my mama. Look at your neighbor. If you're home and your and your mama's there. Which, look at your mama, just look at her right now, right now, right now, and say, Mama, I always love my mama. Come on, somebody else. Look, look, look at her, look at her, look at her, look at her. Say, Mama, I always love my mama. Our Father, my God, we come once again standing here behind this your sacred desk on hollow ground. Asking, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that you hide Thaddeus behind the cross. Hide him so that they might see the Christ within. My storage is empty. I, I render myself available unto you. I pray, oh God, that you would fill my cup. Fill it till it overflows. Fill it to some man, some woman, some boy, some girl. Might come running and say, what must I do to be saved? Use me, oh God. Use me, O oh God. Anoint me, O oh God, and appoint me, O oh God, to break the bread of life. God, we ask that you forgive us of our sin, recognizing all that sin and come short of your glory. We ask that your blessing be upon us even right now, Lord. Even me. God, I know that if you bless us, we shall be blessed. If you keep us, we shall be kept. If you preach to us, we shall indeed preach. We love you today. We love you today. We love you today. We say this prayer in the mighty and matchless name of your son, Jesus the Christ. With thanksgiving, our soul says, Amen, Amen. 
I always love my mom. Beloved, we, 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 we find here in the gospel according to John where Jesus the Christ is making preparation not only for his death but more so for the well-being of his mother. You know, mother, mother, the, the woman, the one who cared for him, the woman who birthed him, the woman who loved him. And he did not place her in just any old hands, but instead he placed her in the hands of someone that he knew he could trust to take excellent care of her. Watch this thing, watch this thing. Every now and then you got to be careful whom you place your mama's care or whom you place your mother in care of. There are some folks who you try to look to to help you out with family members and they'll turn their backs on you. Matter of fact, it can be very abusive. Hello, lights. There's some facilities throughout this world where everybody's not kind. That's why you, you have to be careful when you place your mama in certain facilities because stuff can happen. Yes, sir. Even certain family members, if you look at the scripture, if you understand the scripture, Jesus himself would not place his own mama in the care of his brothers. Why? Because his brothers did not even believe in his ministry. Mm. Why? His brothers did not even believe that he was really the son of God. There was a lot of jealousy going on in there. So every now and then, you got to be careful. Tell somebody, be careful. Be careful. You got to be careful who you place your mama, who, whose care you place your mama in. That's right. Here was Mary. The mother of Jesus witnessing the crucifixion of her son from the foot of the cross. Can you even imagine how she must have felt looking up at her baby whom she had birthed? Looking up at her baby whom she had carried for nine months and whom she had birthed and whom she had watched grow and nurture. And here was her son who did nothing wrong but everything right. Here she was at the foot of the cross. Can you imagine how she felt? The pain, the suffering, the hurt. And while hanging there, Jesus turns to his friend John in complete and total agony and says to him, take care of my mother. Treat her as if she were your very own mother. It's something, it's something when you can find a friend that will treat your mama just like, if not better, then you treat your mama. <laughs> wow. That's awesome to be able to have a friend like that that, will, that you can trust. And then, then, then he looks at his mother and says, let him stand in my place as your son. Mama knows that her son is about to die for the sins of the world. And now she looks upon John and he said, let him stand in my place. Jesus is on the cross bearing the weight of the sins of the whole world on his shoulders. Yet he sees to it to make sure his mother is taken care of after he is gone. As God, Jesus is dealing with eternal matters. Yes. But as a man, he is showing all of us today how important it is to take care of and love our mothers. Yeah. It's important to take care of your mom. It's important to make sure she doesn't want for anything. It's important to make sure that whatever she stands in need of, you're there. She shouldn't have to ask you for anything. Hello, lights. Mama shouldn't have to ask you for anything. You ought to know what she needs. 
Mm, that's if you've been a child that's been right with God. You'll know what your mama means. See, church, you, you cannot be willfully wrong with your mother and be spiritually right with God. Mm. Woo! Come on. How are you going to get with my sister? In other words, you can't cuss your mother out. You can't tell your mother off. You can't tell your mother to fend for herself and then come to church and call yourself praising and magnifying God. No, you can't. Come on now. Mm. You cannot be willfully wrong with your mother and be spiritually right with God. The Bible says in Ephesians 6 and 2, Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Yes, sir. With promise. With promise. Watch this thing. With promise. What you talking about? That it may be well with you and you may live long on the earth. Yes. First commandment with promise. Yes. God promised you do right by your mama, and I'll do right by you. Come on, clap it up for God. Clap it up for mama. You want to live a long life? Honor your mother. You want to have a, a, a prosperous life? Honor your mother. You want to live a life of Christ? Honor your mother. Woo! My mother, my mother, my mother, my mother is going on to be with the Lord. But I honor my mother. I tell folks over and over and over again, my mother used to beat me like dead and brain. And I thank God for the beatings. And I do mean beatings. <laughs> Hello, lights. The kind of beatings that will get you locked up today. But if my mother had not chastised me, Bible says, Spare the rod and spoil the child. If she had not chastised me, I'd probably been locked up. I'd probably been in jail. Matter of fact, I'd probably be dead somewhere. So I thank God for the chastisement from my mama. There's still like these some folk who are who are not convinced that their mama ought to be honored or loved. Well, let me ask you a few questions. Who was it? Who was it? Who was it that cuddled you? And stroked your head, rubbed your feet, held your little cheeks against her, and gave you a finger to hold on to and grasp on to late at night. Who was it? Who was it that when you were little said, Give me some sugar, baby, and you puffed it up and she accept your wet, sloppy kiss and even say thank you? Who was it? Who was it that changed your diapers and potty trained you and held the Kleenex for you to blow your When you thought it was playtime and talk with you and sing with you and play with you, even though they, it was 3.30 in the morning and they had to be up at 7, who was it? It showed up wasn't that. I know it wasn't me. <laughs> Woo! And that's just, just a few reasons why you ought to love and honor your mama. Because mama, mama was always there. During the good times and during the bad times. Mama was always encouraging you to do the right thing. Mama was always pushing you in a direction that would inspire others even to follow you. It was mama. Somebody say it was mama. Watch this thing, watch this thing. Ruth. Ruth takes it a step further when she expressed her love for her mother and, and mother in law, Naomi. After the death of both of their husbands, Naomi gave both Ruth and Oprah the opportunity to return to their homeland, whereby they might be able to find new husbands. Orpha complied, but Ruth replied, Entreat me not to leave or to turn back from following you. For wherever you go, I will go. And wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people will be my people, and your God, my God. That's somebody who loved that. That was a mother-in-law, and she loved her mother-in-law, and she ended it by saying, your God will be my God. Yes. It's good to know that you got family members that respect. 
statue or nothing. Know that you're a servant of the Lord and say, I'm going to follow you because your God will be my God. Same God that woke you up this morning. Same God that started you on the way. Same God that put food on your table. Same God that builds you up when you're weak. Same God. Yes, sir. Same God. Woo! Awesome to know. Awesome to know. Awesome to know that you have a woman in your life, a mother in your life that worships and prays and fears God. Somebody ought to say, now that's love. I hear you, Pastor. I hear you. But I have never had that kind of relationship. Watch this thing. I have some friends like this. I've never had that kind of relationship with my mother. We've always, always, always been distant. I tell them, get close. <laughs> always been distant. Then you get close. We've always been confrontational. Then they go, my God, it's that simple. Stuff is so simple. People make it hard. We've always been confrontational. Then go and say, Mama, I'm sorry. Even if it was, I'm sorry. How do we work this thing out? You, my mom. We've always been not on, on not speaking terms. Open your mouth. How could one not speak to their mom? The person that has birthed you, the person that has loved you, what you think was in that diet? You didn't change it. Woo! Am I not going to speak to you? And quite frankly, she always gets on my nerves. Ain't that something? Your mama gets on your nerves. Yeah, the one that fixed you breakfast early in the morning. The one to make sure you got food on the table. The one that taught you how to tie your shoes. The one that wipe your snotty nose. The one that pulls your pants up because you don't know how to pull them up. But she, will, she always gets on my nerves. The one that takes you places and shop for you and protects you. You ever see, I was, we were walking the other day. We were walking down by the riverfront. And as we were walking, we just get, get early in the morning. Here comes the daddy duck and the mother duck. But I'm pretty sure it was the mother duck. The mother duck, duck, goose, it was a big one, whatever it was. But I didn't see the little ducklets, that's they go. The little birds were sitting there. And the mama bird came busting out to say, if you come near my baby, you come near my baby, I hurt you and I hurt you bad. If you, that's why I ain't going to the woods. I don't know how people go in the woods in the hunt. You come across a mother bear and a baby bear that is trouble in the city. <laughs> Woo! Don't you come near that child. They'll never say, my baby gets on my nerve. To you I say, get over it. And come closer to your mom. Get over it and start agreeing with your mom. Get over it and start speaking to your mom. If you're not, you'll be the one that tries to climb in the casket. Woo! You can always tell. You can always tell the child has raised hand. You can always tell the child has never been there. You can always tell the child that always gave mama nothing but trouble and show no love. You can always tell the child to never stop by and say, here, mama, here's five dollars. You can always tell, because soon as mama transitions, that's the one that wants to climb into the casket. That's the one that wants to fall into the grave, into the grave and hole. I say, let them go. Hello, lights. <laughs> They're the ones that want to act up. But if you can show mom the if you treated mom with dignity, if you always taught or respected mom and loved mom and cherished mom with your whole soul and with your all your mind, if you've done the right thing, even when mom transitions, you can always say, it is well, it is well, it is well with my soul. You might shed a little tear, you might be heartbroken, it might be midnight, but still within 
your soul, you know you've done right by mom. Yes, sir. I tell the world, I tell the world, I ain't the best person in the world. I ain't the best person in the world. I got my shortcomings just like everybody else. But I got an ace in my pocket. I always tell everybody, Lord, if I got to go before you and, and you say, hmm, don't look good here, Kirkland. Things don't look well. <laughs> you may not make it in. I'm say, God, you got to, my mother-in-law, I love my mother. I take care of my mother-in-law. That ought to count for something. <laughs> Hello, lights. <laughs> Hello, lights. You treat people right. Amen. You treat your mother. I don't even call her mother-in-law. I call her mother-in-law. Mm. Well, how do I treat a right pastor? How do I make it in? How do I do right by my mom? Well, I thought you never asked. Let me give you, let me give you, let me give you seven ways to love your mother and then get out your way. Way number one, love your mother verbally. Let me say that again. Love your mother verbally. I love you, mom. Woo! That took a whole lot of words, didn't it? A whole lot of work. Every now and then, folks want to hear you say the words, I love you. Speak life to your mother. How in the world can I love her? Because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I love you, mom, just for who you are. I love you, mom. I love the smell of your hair. I love the softness of your hands. I love the shuffle of your feet. I love everything about you, mom. I love the way you beat me. Knowing that trouble, meaning meetings, don't last always. I love you. You want to show some love to your mother? Show it verbally. Tell her how much you love her. Secondly, love her physically. When is the last time you hugged your mother? I say call her. When is the last time you kissed your mother? I ain't say sit in a car. When is the last time you embraced your mother? I didn't say give her, send her a text. When is the last time you sat with your mother? You gotta learn how to love your mama physically. Ain't nothing wrong with hugging your mama. That's my woman. Woo! I dare you right now at home. I dare you. If your mama in the room, I dare you to grab her right now. Just hug her and kiss her. Kiss her on the cheek. Dare you right now. Woo! Didn't that feel good? Thirdly, love her patiently. Mama's going to grow old if, she, if God blesses her. And in her growing old, they slow down a little bit. They don't move as fast as they want to move. They don't talk as fast as they want to talk. Some things they can't do anymore. And we get frustrated and, and, and ready to throw them in the nearest nursing home. We get frustrated and all that good stuff. Love her patiently. Remember, this is the woman that took care of you. So be patient with her. She may say some things, she may do something, but be patient with her. God is patient with us. He's not through with us. So why in the world should we be through with our mama? Come on, give God a praise clap right there. <laughs> and then, number four, love her attentively. Pay attention to your mama. If you pay attention, you might get some nuggets. She's going to say some stuff that's going to help you later on in life. Be attentive. Listen. Pay, excuse me, pay attention to mama. She'll, she'll find 
sister. I once was young. But now I'm old. But in all my days, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed beg of bread. She said, I ain't never, ever, ever seen somebody who loves the Lord with their whole heart, who has given their life to Christ. I've never seen God turn their back on turn his back on them. Nor have I seen them wanting to have to walk around hungry. He'll provide it. He's a provider. He'll give them the desires of their heart. Love her. Attentively. Number five. Love her gratefully. I don't know why, but I don't get it. How some folks can speak to their parents, especially their mom. In some old crazy way. Mom, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful that God has given me you and placed you in my life. I'm so grateful that you are my mom. First, this thing, like this, this, this is how grateful we ought to be. In a science class, there are, there's a study, there are magnets. And magnets attract objects. You put a magic out, um, a magnet out there, metal objects drawn to that magnet. Watch this thing. Six letters. Six letters pick things up. Hmm. Six letters pick things up. Six letters pick things up. Mother. Come here, boy. Mother. Woo. And sometimes, mother. Magnet. Six letters, mother. Magnet that draw. Make them close. Protect. Come. Every now and then, tell, tell mama how grateful you are by saying thank you. And then love her generously. Ain't nothing too good for my mama. Your mama shouldn't have to worry about finances. Your mama shouldn't have to worry about taxes. Your mama shouldn't have to worry about food. If my mama was alive today, she'd be riding around the Cadillac, diamond in the back, sunroof top, dead on the scene with a gangster lady. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> and we pay for it. She wouldn't want it for nothing. Just like my mother-in-law wants for nothing. Got the love her. Generously. Let the world know ain't nothing too good for my mama. You spoiling your mama every chance I get. Every chance I get. I'm gonna spoil, I'll spoil a rotten. And then finally, number seven. Love her honorably. Hmm. Honorably. I honor you, Mom. I adore you, Mom. I love you, Mom. You, Mom, you're the very best thing that ever happened to me besides Christ. Mom, I am so grateful that when God opened my eyes in the morning, I see you in my life.
peace of being in the flow of the family intact. The heart. The heart. The heart. I don't know about you, but I always love my mama. Why? Let me just say it on you a little bit. She's my favorite girl. I always love my mom. She brought me in this world. Talking about mom. She's one of a kind. You got yours. And I got mine. I always For the mothers that you have placed in our lives. We thank you, O oh God, because even those mothers who have gone home to be with you, you provided us with a memory, precious memories. <laughs> How they linger. So, God, we thank you for the precious memories. We remember when we used to laugh. We remember when we used to run. We remember when we used to play. Precious memories. When mama used to pray when we didn't know how to pray. Precious memories. When mama could make a meal out of nothing. Precious memories. When mama showed us how to love one another. God, we thank you today for each and every mother that you have created in your own image. And we pray, oh God, that as we celebrate this Mother's Day, that folks will draw closer, not only to mama, but closer to you. And develop the relationship that you and your mom had, oh God, because you are a perfect example of a relationship built on love. And so God, we thank you today. We honor you today. And we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. With thanksgiving, our soul says, Amen. 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 We thank God. We thank God. We thank God for mothers. We thank God for you today, mothers. We thank God for you today. We honor you today. We love you, not just today, but every day. You're special. You're a special kind of being. And we thank God that he created you so that you might birth us, raise us, Nurture us and teach us his ways. Thank God, Mama. Thank God, Mama. Always, always love my mama. There might be somebody who has not accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior. We give you this opportunity right now to surrender to him. I surrender all. Just to lift up holy hands and tell God, Lord, I surrender. I give my life away to you. I give my life away so that you might use me as you see fit. I love you today because you first loved me. Come into my life. Come into my life. Change me. Create in me a clean heart. And renew in me a right spirit. I am the clay. You are the power. Mold me, shape me, and 
to what you would have me to be. Say those things. Believe those things in your heart. And thou shalt be saved. The thief simply said, when thou get to paradise, remember me. He was, he received instant salvation. We thank God for each and every one of you. Thank you, praise team. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, technician, Reverend Cram. Thank you, Thank you, Mr. Drummer Man. Eric. Thank you, Minister of Music. John and Carol. Thank you, Sister Molette, Bishop Page, Sister Tyra, Brother Dan, and thank you, Community Baptist Church, and friends on this Mother's Day for worshiping with us, the Community Baptist Church, the church with a heart for God. Happy Mother's Day. Be blessed.